uh, specifically how to make each gain what you want to set it at. Usually that is somewhere that the manufacturer has set or that you know you guys feel comfortable with and we're going to show you how to do that today. All right. All right. So we've got an MD8K. Sorry for the mess. We pulled it out here to make it a lot easier to do. We've got our fluke set up. We've got our head unit. Again, we've got the MD8K. We've got RCA hooked up. Let me get started. So, what you're going to do with when you're setting your gains in a situation like this is you're going to turn the volume all the way up on whatever place you're going to play. You're, so, on this one, we're going to set this one at volume 51, right? We're going to set it at 51. Whatever frequency is your peak frequency. So we're gonna set this one at 50. Bass knob all the way up, because that's the top you're ever going to use. What is that noise? As you can see, she turns on. We're about at 105 volts. Sorry, the track's changing on us. As you can see, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our gain, the far left where it says level, and we're gonna move it around until we reach to that point. Now you wanna keep the frequency the same. And everything else you wanna keep the same. The voltmeter, AC voltage, just like how we had it one of the last videos. She's all wired up. I use simple banana type plugs for that to make it easy. So my teammate here is going to continue to reset the track because our Hey, it's acting up. So I'm gonna show you what it's like right now. I've actually got it set to 103.9, 105, right in that range. So I'm gonna turn it down. As you can see, as I twist down, the amp turns down. Now, we've decided that this one is good for 105 volts, what we've set this one at. So I'm gonna reset this one to show you. So as you can see, everything's wired up. We're gonna take our knob, we're gonna to continue to turn. So on this one, Keep turning, keep turning. This can be a minute or two to get these to set where you want them. Now it's gonna be very hard to get them exact. Try the best you can. So if you go too far, the amp will start to show a protecting clip light. Obviously get it out of there. We're gonna set this one at 105. Sorry, the track reset on us. So 4.4. See if we can get a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Right. Let's just set right about 104.5. Bounce it around 104.5. And you'll do that to each amp the same exact way. Again, there's no subwoofer hooked up. That's how you set them.